The Overseer. The one in charge. Is Bryce. Bryce? As in the Sage of Polycana. Conniving old bastard. He's the one who had us do the search. No way. Uh, I met him. He's the one behind this? Why? After everything Akane-san's done, all she wanted was to help people. And now, an entire religion's coming after her? I mean, wasn't Polykana... Akane-san believed in that stuff too, right? Seriously? Why is Akane-san so important to these guys? See for yourself. We caught this on camera about two weeks back. Polykana. It's their orphanage, right? Sure seems like it. Yeah. This is where she worked. Look here, Kasuga. The picture that the Doji faction gave me is the same photo. Whoa, you're right. Hey, tell me, who's this girl with Akane-san? She's not just some girl. You see, Bryce is really after her. Uh -huh. Her name is Lonnie. This island. Bryce may think of himself as its new god, but she could take that all away. The girl's his Achilles' heel. Knowing how Bryce works, he'll do whatever it takes to track her down and snuff her out. Snuff her out? A poor little girl? You said her name's Lonnie? What the hell's Bryce want with a kid like her? What's killing her gonna solve? Hang on. First, who is Bryce, really? How does one man control all of Hawaii's underworld? Care to explain that? I don't know the details myself. By the time I started gaining prominence here, Bryce was already the sage of Polycana, and well in charge. Right, okay. And how far back was that? This was 30 years ago. Fair to say Bryce was always here. His control over the underworlds lasted at least all this time. And get this. He looked exactly the same back then. 30 years ago? Wait, then how old is he now? Sounds like he's easily over 90. If that's really the case, he must be some kind of monster. Back in my early days, I had my sights set on expanding to America's mainland. In a sense, Hawaii was supposed to be a sort of stepping stone. Things were going well. I had driven out the existing Chinese presence and become the king of a new regime in Hawaii. And it's been Ganja ever since, huh? That's right. But something occurred just as I was about to make my next move. You see, it was then I got a visitor. I speak for the Overseer. That was how he greeted me. The Overseer? By that, he meant Bryce? Correct. Well, I didn't know that at the time. Naturally, all I saw was a no-name fool spitting hollow threats. And given my newfound status here, I promptly sent him packing. That was a grave mistake. 
Huh? No more than a week later, I received a mysterious package. It was a small cardboard box. Even stranger, the sender was my hometown. <sighs> when I looked inside, I found a head staring back at me. And it wasn't just anyone's. It was my mother's. <gasps> to uncover my place of birth alone was by no means an easy task. But he'd quickly proven otherwise. I chose to shove it in my face. And it was then and there I knew what I was up against. And after that, it will side with Bryce or suffer the consequences. Right. Granted, I was always looking for a chance at revenge. Truly, I may have kneeled, but I could never let my mother's death go unanswered. To that end, I went to great lengths selecting men I could trust. There was no knowing what would make its way back to Bryce. And still... That suit, right? Bryce's spies were right under your nose the whole time. So it would seem. Furthermore, Palakana's at the heart of this whole mess. Bryce's spies, they're bred from within Palakana itself. What, like brainwashing? Exactly. He uses his position as sage to influence believers. And once he has their trust, he makes himself their object of worship. Those he lures in, follow his every command. Not even death is off the table, long as it's for his sake. You saw that for yourself back at the hotel. Bryce's role as Palakana Sage is everything to him. It's more than just a front, much more. Okay, Bryce is no joke, I get that. But back to my original question. Why the hell is this Lonnie so important to him? Well, I'm not sure. It's like I said before, as far as we know, Dwight and I are only following Bryce's orders. That's not to mention that we rarely receive those from the man himself. However, this time, we did. He told us to find the girl named Lonnie at all costs, and that Akane be with her. He said she was trying to keep her safe. That's all we were ever told, no rhyme or reason. Bryce had given the order, and with that, we had no choice but to follow. Ah, uh, Dwight left that out. In fact, he was pretty vague about things. He told us an unknown client offered him 10 mil and that's it. Hmm. The Overseer's identity is the last thing he'd let slip. Wouldn't you know? He bought his story, hook, line, and sinker. Sneaky bastard. Who knew he was such an actor? Anyway, if this was some rare direct order from Bryce, then Akane-san and this Lonnie girl are special. He wouldn't pull out all the stops otherwise. And that's why you thought Lonnie was Bryce's weak point. Is that right? Yeah. I thought if I could get my hands on her, Bryce would be the one bowing down to me. But I was foolish. So we got mafia bosses and casino managers at play. Two grown-ass men with pretty major titles chasing after a kid with no real clue as to why. <sighs> And then there's Akane-san. She must have realized that Lonnie was being targeted. Fair to say, that's why she ran off with her. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Based on this, she looks about ten. That right? Yeah. She's just a kid. Her best hope was someone pulling her from the lion's den. If not for Akane-san, She'd have never stood a chance. Kiryu-san. She needs our help. Right now, it's darkness at every turn for her, and there's no end in sight. She needs someone to show her there's a way out. That there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. I'm 
I'm with you on that 100%, Kiryu-san. They have my son, too. Polycana stole him from me. I won't abandon him. <sighs> Shh. Everyone, quiet down. Oh, great. Now what? From the looks of it, they aren't with me. Ahoy! Wong To! <laughs> we know you're still out there. You're still limping around. Must be fun, eh? Come on and show yourself. I'll fix you right up. It's Yamai. He must have sniffed us out. You saying he works for Polycana too? No. To Yamai, Hawaii's just another rock out at sea. He's nowhere on the Overseer's radar. He's too small-time to be. Yeah, then what's he doing here? From where Yamai sits, the Ganja are collapsing. This is the perfect chance to wipe us out. And sure enough, he's taking it. You fellas are here too, yeah? Kasuga, Kiryu-san. Wong Toe's the main event tonight. Hand him over, and I guarantee you boys will go out in one, maybe two swings. Gee, how generous. Doesn't look like they're coming out, boss. Maybe they scampered off. Nah, not while the Gib's still with them. Unless they've got a stretcher, they're not going anywhere. They're probably skulking around in the shadows. But boss, how the hell do we find him when it's this dark? What? Having trouble seeing? All right then, let me get a light. Uh, huh? Uh, oh, allow me, boss. I don't hear anything. You think they backed off? No way. Yamai would never give up that easily. <sighs> That's for sure. <sighs> oh, come on! <sighs> well, now. This ought to brighten things. Plus, it's warm. So, two birds, one stone. Shit. Cold out here. He's out of his mind. We're gonna get fried if we stick around. Let's move! Uh, 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 Kusan! Uh, 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 uh. Hurry! It's spreading fast! Thank goodness. We can rest here. Sheesh, what took you? Guess we're out of options. Okay, so we take him out. Then what do we do? Not to worry, Chichan. We'll make it out. Tell me. I hope you're ready, pal. Right then. I wonder how you'll handle things this time around, Kazuma Kiryu. Let's see whether the dragon breathes fire or his last breath, shall we? from one of these trees. Maybe we can use it. It's too hot. Fire's out of control. You don't want us to get too close. I'll take you on. Yeah! We've done it. Ready when you are. 
follow my lead. Ready for the knockout? Okay, Kiryu son? Yeah. Though not for long. If we don't move, we're dead. Oh? We want to leave Wang To behind then? There's no way in hell we'll drag him out of here in time. Wait! Come on! You gotta help me! Hey, we couldn't even if we wanted to. The only way we're getting out of this is. He's here! Look sharp, everyone! <laughs> Go and take the wheel, Chitose. Right. Take care of myself. Go! Well, well. Wong To and Kasuga chose to cut and run, eh? All that, and the only thing I'm left with is a dying fossil. You know. There was once a time when I actually looked up to you. What a waste. <laughs> turned off Kiryu-san's phone. CPS really would have helped us out about now. Indeed. Just try to take it easy for now, Kasuga-san. Right. Sorry. From what everyone said, it's best to assume Kiryu-san's been captured. If they'd killed him, there'd be no reason to disable the GPS. Well, hang on. 
Kiryu-san still could have been dumped out at sea, right? I mean, I'd have shut his phone off real quick. I suppose that's possible, isn't it? Though your inability to read the room is truly remarkable. Huh? Uh, well, I mean, I just thought we should consider all the angles. Tell me, maybe consider shutting up first. Ugh. Kiryu-san wouldn't go down that easy. Still, right now he needs all the help he can get. And fast. Yes. In fact, our search for Akane-san and Lani will have to wait. His rescue should be our number one priority. Huh. I figured you'd say the opposite. You thought I'd write Kiryu off as a pawn and tell you to stick to the mission? It's true. He is being used by the Daidoji faction. However, he simply cannot be replaced. If our mission wants any hope of success, Kiryu-san must be brought to safety. Yamai has probably got him tied up at his hideout. And I think I know just the place. Pretty sure I visited once. Good. This will be quick then. Kiryu-san will be back before we know it. Yeah, well, that's easier said than done. We barely escaped our last battle with that lunatic, remember? And let's not forget that we're down Kiryu-san this time. It's gonna be tough. Hanawa-san, think we can count on you for backup? I get winded just walking up the stairs. Does that answer your question? We'll ask someone else. I can't believe Kiryu-san took orders from this guy. Oh, hi. Okay. Hey, Kasuga. Yo, it's your old pal. Hadachi-san? Who else? Aloha! <laughs> Care to guess where I am right now? Oh, uh, well, uh, hey, look, I'm happy you called, but I'm kind of busy right now. I don't exactly have time to chat. Oh, figured as much. In fact, I had a pretty big hunch. Huh? Where are you at right now? I'm ready to pitch in, so maybe come get me. I mean it, I'm walking out of the airport. The airport? Wait, in Hawaii? Hey, hey, I'm here too, Ichiban. It's your best buddy, Nambasan. Hang on a sec, what are you guys up to? You know how boring things get when you're out of work? We figured you might need some help your first time out of the country. So we're here to please. You guys rule! I really, really need your help, like, right now. <laughs> Glad to hear it. You're at the airport, right? Uh, tell you what, how about we meet at the beach instead? Sorry to hit you with the drama straight away, but, um... I'm in a jam with the Yakuza again. We gotta save Kiryu-san this time around. Say what? Now that you're here, I think we might actually have a chance. See you soon. We got our reinforcements. Let's not keep Kiryu-san waiting, huh? You guys are pretty tough, huh? Tougher than us? 
Trust me, they're the best of the best. Anyway, let's move. I'll fill you guys in later. We're in full swing. Okay, I'm ready. Namba, a dodgy son. Sorry to keep you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are really here. Man, feels like a lifetime since we last saw each hey, other. Come on, it hasn't been that long. What the hell you been doing out here? Better question. Who are the kids, huh? Right. Uh, let me introduce you. This is Chi-Chan and Tony. Yeah, how's it going? We've been duking it out with every gang on the island. Now, we're all pals. Hey there. I see. So they're the new party for Hawaii, huh? <laughs> all right, but what's this about gangs? How'd you even get involved in something like that? I thought you were here to meet your mom. Actually, it's kind of a long story. <laughs> yeah, where do we start? I mean, I was born and yeah, raised and... I, I think that's going a little too far back. Uh, next time, yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Kiryu-san's locked up in enemy territory. Give me a sec, and I'll get you guys up to speed. Sure. Sorry to spring that, seeing as you just got here. Uh, this ain't the first time, and sure as hell ain't the last, right? Yeah, what else is new? Sure beats sitting on your ass. Plus, it's for Kasuga. If I gotta get jerked around now and then, so be it. <laughs> well, I told you, they're the best, uh, didn't I? Uh, <laughs> you were right. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> told you. Yeah. Right, I'm right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do it. Okay, we got a dragon to save. Keep that up, I'm gonna have to get some of that poke. <laughs> Okay, I think I got it. Okay, so the place this Yamai characters hold up is called Night Square. Is that right? Kiryu-san's gotta be there, yeah. If we want him back, taking down Yamai's the only way. Ugh, oh, what a mess. <laughs> no time for sightseeing on this voyage, I guess. Kiryu-san comes first, and then, I promise, I'll show you around. Let's go. Yamai's little castle's about to get stormed. It's a crazy plan, but still... It ain't half bad now, is it? Not bad at all. All right. High time Kiryu-san got rescued. Hurry your ass up, Ichiban. Clock's ticking, yeah? Yeah. Here we go. I'm counting on you. You hear?
Hmm. Place is more dumpy than I'd expected. It's definitely not the rinsiest part of town. Still, Hawaii's nightlife practically lives here, and Yamai's gang controls every inch. As you can imagine, there's a lot of Japanese folk. And Yamai's cronies? Where do we find them? Hey, we wander around enough, and they'll find us. If you recall, I'm already on their shit list for being a deserter. You okay, Tommy? You don't look too happy right now. I'm good. Actually, I'm more worried about Kiryu-san at the moment. Ichiban, there's a tattoo shop just ahead. The lady who runs the place happens to be an old friend of mine. Real in the no gal. She's no spring chicken, and she treats Yamai and his gang like a bunch of kids. He even respects her for it. Meaning? Meaning, if she knows something, Yamai's rat pack ain't gonna scare her out of talking. No kidding. Let's stop by. Hey, check out that thrift shop. That is one sweet jacket. You're pretty big on American clothes, Adachi-san. Oh, yeah? Well, American movies did have a huge influence on my generation. Aw, oh, man, there was one about a fighter pilot that made waves back in the day. Yeah, bought me the same jacket as the guy and went around airports listening to the score. Man, that takes me back. I was so young and naive. You have real good taste in clothes, though. So, what happened to that jacket? Well, I gained weight, so it doesn't fit me anymore. Uh, used to be thin as a rail back then. Oh! We're really opening up. Aloha! Thank you! Aloha! Thank you! Welcome in. Hey there. My friends and I have a quick question for you. Got a sec? You guys aren't customers? <laughs> Sorry, just me. Tomizawa. <sighs> You've got guts showing your face around here. Yamai's gonna drag you through the street. I'm sure he'd like to. Anyway, look, Yamai's holding a friend of ours captive. What do you think? You hear anything about that? Couldn't tell you. Yakuza don't bring nothing but trouble. Honestly, anything would help. This guy Yamai's got, he's done everything for me. He's really sick, and he needs our help fast. Sorry, but I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Yamai's goons are here. I'll be. So Hawaii's boys are keeping the classic Yakuza do alive and well, eh? I'd say it goes well beyond just the haircut. Appreciate the heads up. We'll see if these guys know anything. Be my guest. You got a lot of nerve running your mouth in someone else's turn. Hey, another surprise. A Hawaiian Yakuza with a Hiroshima twang. It's a dying breed even back in Japan. Crazy to think such an endangered species would find its way out here. <laughs> yeah, almost makes him kind of cute. Yeah, ha ha. But let's not die here, okay? Kiryu-san's friends are here to get him. Know where he is? This chump's got some guts, doesn't he? 
Let's rip them out. Right, time to throw down. Okay, I'm up. Big, but at least I can back it up, asshole. Shut your yap. I finished with you yet. Cut the crap and tell me where Kiryu san is. Or do you want to get knocked around a little more? <sighs> Come on, spit it out. Let's both walk out of here in one piece. All right, fine. The theater building. Theater building? I know it. Yeah, see, it's right over there. It used to be a big playhouse. You might run things from the top floor now. You know, if you were gonna trap Curious on somewhere, it really isn't a bad choice. I'll say, especially if Yamai's in there. But it's crawling with his boys, too. Yeah, but that won't stop me. Appreciate it, Kasuga. Whoa, this is different. Hey, you sure about this? Taking her here, of all places. Oh, um. Oh my god, Ichiban, look! This whip, it's all spiky! I wonder what you do with these chains. Ouch. Oh, and hey, there's candles! You know, I, she digs it. I mean, this stuff looks pretty painful. Maybe she's just into the weapon aspect? Let's just say that's what it is. <laughs> what you fuck up? Hello? Tell me, Kiryu sounds probably pretty well guarded, right? Yeah, if you ask me, best bet's the top floor. Only Yamai's confidants can get in there. And I've only been up there a handful of times myself. You've had run ins with our buddy Yamai before, right? What's he like? Well, he's tough as nails, that's for sure. More than anything, he's just plain eerie. You never know what that guy's thinking. It's the eyes. You don't get a stare like that without some crazy story behind it. Regular devil, huh? Guess we better watch our backs then. Yeah, but there's more. He's got some kind of weird charm. Loyal bunch like them's hard to come by. I see. Sounds like we showed up in the nick of time. You sure did. Hey man, am I glad. Okay, let's rumble! Come on! Sure, I'll play with you. 
Let's go. Going in. You're coming with me. I'm not there. Are you getting scared? Okay, I'm up. I think I'm getting better at this. Well, look who it is. Little Pansy Tomizawa in the flesh. You damn traitor! Like you got any business coming back here! Hey, slow your roll, pal. I'm not stoked about it either. But for all I'm not, I at least know one thing. I'd never leave my friends behind. <laughs> well said, Tommy. No, oh, fuck off! You wanna be brave? We'll put you to the test! Okay, you asked for it. Itself, huh? Don't see that every day. Not like there's customers. No way with how they treat the place. Yeah, they've been using it a while now. Yeah. It's basically their playground. Never know when they'll show up. Watch your back, yeah.
still good to go. Okay, you asked for it. Need to 
Slow down now. So no Okay, I'm up. Oh. Good to go.
Should I open it? Sweet! Huh? What's this? Looks like a cabaret on its last legs. Adachi-san. Namba. That would be a Mai. Ah, get a load of him. Still, his digs could use a little dusting. Wasn't sure you'd make it up here. Give yourselves a hand. Where's Kiryu-san? Oh, so that's why you barged in, is it? He'd better be okay. Eh. Uh... What was that? Oh, Tomizawa's tagged in too, huh? Little Tiger's got some scruff strutting back in here. Then again, maybe I'm just a joke to you now. Actually, I'd say the Tomi you knew is long gone. Now, give us back Kiryu-san. Come on. As if flapping your lips is all it'd take. Don't forget. You used to be one of us. You want to get your way, you gotta step up to the plate. Oh, great. Life lessons from Hawaii's resident psychopath. And plenty of bark from Kiryu's little fan club. Let's just hope you've got some bite, eh? Yeah, we got you covered. <laughs> Oh, relax. Yeah. Why don't you just leave him be? That's right. Forget him. Uh, You're uh, so mean. <laughs> I'll finish it quick, ladies. Your my turf. Safe to say he's got the advantage. This better be fun. Break yourself. Ready when you are. Right. Here I come. Woo. Remind 
me why I needed you to fly. Hey now, don't let him get the better of you. You're my son, for you. You asked for it. Playtime's over, motherfucker. Well, this is a surprise. I was hoping the dragon would have more teeth. Be a real shade. Oh, Let's on. go. Make it so you do know, you my. Tomizawa. Choice is yours, but you know what you gotta do. Or do you want to be disgraced even more? <laughs> Grace and I split ways a long time ago. Now then, you gonna take your swing or what? That's enough. Hiryu-san is safe and sound. Hey. That said, if you lay another finger on the boss, I can't guarantee he'll stay that way. How about that? You really do have a way with people, don't you? Duh. Now there's a keeper. Man, what I wouldn't give for a girl like that. What, like it's too late? If you're serious, I say go for it. <laughs> you better show up at the wedding. <laughs> 